Hey, we're going to take a look at my solar setup and how everything is connected and stuff. So here's a generator. So I'm using a bunk bed and then there's a solar panel. So let's see. So I'm in my backyard, which is really small, so it's around this size. So here's a bunk bed and I'm using that as the stand on top of the hammock. I was going to cover the whole thing so I was just big, so you could shade. It'll be shaded and then you'll be like under the bunk bed. But my wife said she likes to see the sky so I only did half. So it's right by the AC unit. Let's see. There it is. So I have used the whole bunk bed, just the top part. So it was, I think is a double but I just left the bottom. Uh, not connected and let's see the bunk bed was free okay so let's see and then I could come up in the back or the side and then hook it up okay here's a solar panel and uh, it's connected with MC4 to the cable that came with with the solar uh, solar generator, Boudin's, Boudin's. So here it is, plugged in, charged in one. Okay, looks like it got wet. Okay, and then under it, I have it connected the ground wire to the setup. There it is, and then attached to the zip ties to the ground. One of my coworkers, friends, electricians, told me like, yeah, I should just ground it because um, it generates electricity or something and then if there's too much electricity, it burns out. So just ground it or maybe lightning strikes or something. So yeah, there's my generator. So right now it is like 9 o'clock in the morning and the sun goes across from there to there. So I only have that much to generate power when it's fully, the full sun's out. So that's like t 1 o'clock to like, I'm not even sure, like what is it, 5 o'clock. So that's all the time I have to generate um, power. So. It, this charges, most of the time I only use it to, so this is 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%. I only use like three bars. Because I'm trying to use as um, only like 50% of the battery to last longer or if they, what they say. So it charges around maybe two and a half bars in those few hours a day. So what I do is I take it in and charge my batteries, laptops, phone if I need to and then that's it so and then it uses around two bar two and a half bars so right now I overused it because I charged my laptop like my laptop fully from like maybe one bar or something I'm not really sure so yeah if you have any questions or anything leave a comment like my <laughs> setup so this is why I did this setup because it's um, I could take it apart because I don't know how long I'm actually going to be here in this location. That's why I set it up. And then some of the sun's blocking it because some of the bars block the sun from hitting the panel. And they have it a slant and then so water could come down. What I do need to do for the winter is um, put the, bat the battery in a cooler or something to keep it warm. Because it'll be, there'll be snow out here and the, gen the battery's going to have some issues. So, I have left it out here during the summer, and it was like 90 to like almost 100 out here, and I put the generator or the battery under the panel, and it's it's pretty cool. It's, it's cool enough for it to run um, well. It's under 50C. So, let's see right now. Let's see what C it is at. So, there it is. 15 Celsius. So, yeah. And when I do plug it in. It shuts off. So I, don't, I haven't actually tried it having the generator 
um, turned on, I mean charging other stuff, while um, having input on solar. I don't even know how you could do that. So like, see if it's charging, oh, lights work. So let's see, yeah. AC doesn't work though. And I don't even know how you can turn it off. I can't turn it off, so yeah. Thanks for watching.